2022 almost killed me. Like, actually. Let's fast forward to August. So yeah, that sucked. Let's shift to December, shall we? Uh, exactly one week ago, I was fired. When I say a new fire has been lit, a new fire has been fucking lit. Uh, everything gone. I had the fool when I go and perform, but I'm trying. What the fuck is he doing? Act like a groupie around me, he drawing. I told him to. And I need me to do. If I ain't get paid, I ain't doing the show. Shit, I'm finna. Now we're here. As you guys saw, 2022 was an absolute roller coaster full of so many twists, turns, ups, downs. It was one of the most chaotic, hectic, and quite frankly, painful uh, years of my life. But the amount of growth that I experienced through going through all of that, uh, I can't even put it into words. And you don't realize it until you go through it, just how necessary all of those experiences are in just shaping you and helping you grow as an individual so for that i'm grateful and as of this point right now we're exactly seven and a half weeks out from our next challenge that's right we're going back to houston after a four-year hiatus we're going back to houston summer shredding stepping on stage in a new division classic physique so we get to show off these legs that we train all the time. And honestly, I was just very excited to make my comeback to YouTube because I felt, especially given this past year, I had so much to share. And this, you know, we're so caught up in like the short form content, TikTok, reels, things like that, and shorts. Um, but it's just like, it lacks that substance, it lacks that depth, and you don't really get to know the person who's creating the content through those pieces. So. That's why I miss this. And our family's grown since the last time I was on here. We've got a lot of new faces and I'm so pumped to continue growing this community and this unique culture that we're building to always freaking show up and never give up on yourself. That is just something that I've been really drawn towards, especially with all these hurdles. So I just wanna be a testament to that. And that's why we're going back to Houston, despite tearing the peck and <laughs> literally getting hit by a bus we're still here and we're still gonna bring everything that we got and nothing can stop you like if you have that mindset to just keep fucking going you will find a way like that's living proof you will find a way to make it happen i'm very excited you guys that was my little recap i'm excited for what's next i'm excited to document this journey, the prep series, if you will. I was gonna call it hybrid, just because that's the, well, we'll get into that, of how my training and everything has changed a lot over the years, but yeah, I think a more appropriate name, just given everything that's happened, is just redemption. Not for anybody or any accolades. Um, I don't even care if I place. Like, that's not really, that's not really it. It's just when I had the opportunity taken away from me, because that was my original plan was to compete last year. Um, obviously, a torn pec is not very conducive to competitive bodybuilding. I want to reclaim what was taken from me. So, yeah, this is this is a bit of personal personal redemption. And I'm ready to give it fucking everything. I'm ready to take you guys along for it. And just show you exactly what's possible with this, but really this. And carry you anywhere. As always, stay true to you. This is the official. Welcome back. I'm ready to fucking go. Let's get it, y'all.
Boop, 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 boop.